Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where we're trying to survive as long as possible really with conventional weapons and or armor upgrades against an ever so growing tide of the swarm. Uh, chrysalids have uh, taken up uh, their mind on their own and want to overrun uh, the world. We can't let that happen, of course. Operation Wolf Beast will help us to get a few more supplies and hopefully finally uh, the sweet, sweet upgrade that we were looking for. Any of these lieutenants really could become a captain and that would be squad size uh, upgrade number two. Getting those six people will make a huge difference. We got Lyrical, Wrong Planet, Taurus, Zukuger, and Namri up all fresh and ready to up and get going. Keep in mind the losts are not as trivial. We still have the no headshot mod, which means we will need to uh, deal with them. And we can typically only kill five at best per round. Good, we're landing time to hopefully get a couple of crates out as always before we are not uh, starting to get revealed. Nothing will happen. The timer will not start and uh, we can just go our merry ways. Which is why it is so important to keep concealment at the beginning. Okay. Advent is already starting to approach us. Moving upstairs. Let's hope we're not going to be discovered. That would really suck. On the move. Good, we're moving in. Plenty of loss on the other side. No surprise here. I'm not seeing a single crate yet. What is even happening? Okay, this is one of those ginormous maps. Where unfortunately for us, we will need to move really, really, really far before even getting the chance to secure one crate. Triple sectors. With a huge detection radius, I'm not even sure if we can play the little... Um, we're staying out of combat game. I don't think we can. Well, maybe. Sectored mind bender over there. Okay, they just need to. We ju we simply need to see the sectors and the loss at the same time. And then they will start fighting each other. That should not yet trigger uh, the actual timer. But it will thin out the pack. Wow, 
Well, I guess the gig is up. The skirmisher and his friends decided to show up. And that will make this whole positioning up here much more painful than it used to be. Oh boy. A big fat lost swarm appears. I let the sectors deal with them. Okay, and even more loss. Well, fantastic. Taking a pretty sizable hit over here. Okay, I'll go. Taurus. Free med kit heal. Into. Guardian, okay. Well, the skirmisher still remains uh, our problem. Solid fat damage. In the meantime, we're suppressing everyone down there. Won't be able to get an overwatch shot going, but at least everybody is suppressed. Okay. Lots of lost. Not good. I think we need to focus the mind bender first. He will be the biggest problem if left unchecked. 90% shot missed. Look, the losses are pretty much immune to this, but it's still a good chunk of damage. It will, however, maybe trigger more soon-ish. Continuing to go for the other sector. Yeah, I think we will need to get that sector down. Mindbender still survives for now. And of course. We're fighting against the Chosen. A well-trained and upgraded Chosen, that is. Might not be the worst selection because uh, the Spectral Zombies and the, uh, and the Lost can fight each other. No bleed-out is a problem. Takes additional damage from... Uh, shell shocked. 
and can summon Advents. Forty hit points is yet another problem. Three armor. Let's try to take care of it as quickly as possible. Okay, well there is the mind control. We can now hope, but uh, the lost will find their way and just completely beat the guy uh, downstairs up. Good hit. I need another one. Good, Mindbender. Finally is hitting the ground. Let the bodies hit the floor. Running and gunning. Blocking that. A few dashers have spotted us out so far. They can't really reach us, but that's just a matter of time. One hit. One over here, trying to help getting that brute down. Unfortunately, not successful. By the numbers. On reserve. Hmm. Lost, lost, lost. Can't really move over here. Could jump down, but that would be suicidal. We will overcome. Need more damage now. Starting to clear the loss one by one. Not perfect, but it is okay for now. This could be a kill. Unfortunately not. But we do have close quarter combat. Which will help us at least a bit. There we go. That's the kill. No. Yeah, I didn't get it. Of 
Guardian takes a shot. That sector still remains to be our, one of our biggest problems. Yeah, specifically if he nails his stupid mind control. Another swarm is soon going to join. Very good. They slowly but surely set this guy up. And luckily our ranger is potentially the best character for being pincered. Starting to, to get that sectored. Okay, cool. Okay, we're continuing to take Advent out for now. Should've done that shot first. Reloading. This is going to shred him very well. Bring me this mercy to the godless. Okay. Zombies. More zombies. This is going to be a long mission. And it is not one where I'm just going to get a couple of crates. It is one where we actually need to kill every single enemy. Spectral rupture is a problem, but so is the lost swarm. I sincerely hope that spectral rupture does not trigger lost swarms because then I think or just having too many enemies at that point. Yep, good hits. I like it. Six points of damage. We need to deal a lot of damage. Four to six, well, hmm. The Desher has how many hit points? Two, well that's nothing. Everybody could kill him. Good, let's try to get that spectral rupture off the field. Unfortunately, not a single target, uh, single uh, hit, single kill. Ready to engage. This should do it. Okay, doesn't trigger zombies. Fantastic.
getting that dasher down. Okay, this should prevent additional spectral rupture, which I really don't want to happen. Three, six. I was hoping for a solid enemy with four hit points. Yep, like that one. And then we're overwatching. Good. Well, listen, we have half a dozen uh, loss to deal with. We need to make sure that we're not spawning more. Well, I should. I stand corrected. We have a dozen loss to deal with. And we need to make sure that we're not spawning more. not even a kill. can already foresee this is overall going to be very, very, very painful. It's potentially the right call just to get them down. We will spawn more, but it'll also deal so much damage that we take five out. That boomer um, will spawn more. Yeah, we're almost done with uh, that swarm. Could have reloaded first with wrong planet. It's okay. Never mind now. Another swarm is almost here. Enemies are coming in. I was sort of hoping that because if they attack us, we can counter. Good, one more down. We're watching here. Would love to get over here, but that's a little bit too dangerous. Okay, more zombies. Yeah. Yeah, that could clear out the enemies downstairs.
Okay, plenty of plenty of enemies. Specifically, the dashers are a problem. We've almost gotten the entire swarm down. And now we're dealing with more enemies again. Hmm, Lurikula hasn't taken any form of damage so far. She could be the full solution to the loss by just moving in. Hmm. Hmm. I think we should start moving her in. Good, there was a boomer. Yep, let's get this guy down. Fortunately, he explodes and therefore will trigger one step towards more lost okay cool well sabotaging weapons is a problem We have most of the losts triggered by now, so I can start moving in. We do not yet have Bladestorm, but apparently the parry is good enough. I wasn't sure if it is a chance or if it is 100%. Okay, Beck, so let's push forward, shall we? Lots of lost here. Good, we're continuing to just take out as many as we can for now. Unfortunately, sometimes we're dealing minimum damage. Good, very good. Um, I mentioned we wanted to move forward. Lyrical does exactly that. Let's see how strong her parry really is. Very good. So the losts are going to swarm us, but we do have parry. How long did you think you could hide? Well, I thought I could hide a bit, but dear warlock, you are not my problem. My problem are the losts. An absolute shit ton of them, to be precise. Good, we almost got the swarm down. Almost. Only thing that's needed now. 
is to finish the last few and then get through the next wave of zombies. Well, joke's on you with your sabotage of uh, the weapon. Lyrical had no ammunition to begin with. Another swarm might come very, very soon. Okay, so we got a single dasher. Uh, that's a problem. The burning. Okay, well that solved that problem. Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. And Overwatch. We're going through the zombies next. And I think we're okay then. We can finally move on. Nice. We got two promotions already. Unfortunately, another swarm. I will definitely research the losts in the next uh, in the next opportunity that I'm getting, because the loot would have been awesome in this uh, particular mission. I am definitely ready to be redeemed. Wrong planet. Is hitting the opponents. Let's focus on the dashers. Uh, we want to save our grenades for a little bit longer. In the meantime, reload and try to get all of the dashers down. Okay, Lyrical is frontlining. We will need to get uh, through an entire regiment of Losts. I very much hope that the swarm will stop very soon. Is this getting ridiculous? No, 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 still no, and yes. See, and that's the problem. The loud noise will draw even more of them closer. No, no, maybe. That could be a kill. It's not, but we can still fire a second time. It's super helpful to have that sustained fire.
Well, there's only so much I can kill with five uh, actions per turn. To be precise, six enemies at best. We do not have face off or any form of multi damage yet. Great to see that we're getting a lot of mileage out of the um, parry ability. down almost out of loss which is great time to become a little little just tiny bit more aggressive removing the remaining loss and just overwatching i think one more line of zombies nope What's happening next turn? Alright, let's push in before more losts are going to join us. Racing, overwatching. Yeah, we're going to see zombies next. So I want to make sure we have enough overwatch shots to at least kill one of them. But the good news is we have cleared the area so far. And we are stable for the first time in a while. The not so good news is the losses are still spawning. Uh. Please, have mercy. Namre just wants to get into safety. And let's start killing a couple of the dashers. And the zombie. Good, more dashers need to die. And even more dashers need to die. But well, that's five kills, six if you count Overwatch, and seven if we're lucky with the uh, parry. It won't get much better than that. The problem is he's summoning every three rounds, and the loss continue to spawn quite well, but we're almost through them, so I think we can start moving forward. Force 
forces will perish, and you will return to the Elder's Commander. Very nice. Good shot. Well done, wrong planet. It's killing time. It is indeed killing time. The shit here needs to end. I have no time to go through hundreds of thousands of them. Unfortunately for us, not all of our hits are at maximum damage. Some of them are, some of them are not. So we're typically killing four to six per round, which is great if you think about it. This was a round of five kills. moving down come on can't be that difficult to get rid of uh, the last few losts very good moving up and now the next location is upstairs over there I'm pushing in aggressively because we don't have uh, an unlimited amount of time That is unfortunately going to slow us down yet again. Swarm is almost there. You can guess what that means, right? Oh, damn right. Good. More spectral zombies down. Well, how about that? Tired of waiting around. Seems doable. Namri takes the other side. Got it coming. Soon another swarm might spawn. A little bit weapon sabotage doesn't really matter for us. Such a long drawn out mission and all we need to do is get to the chosen and kill him but the problem is these swarms Fantastic. Speed up of the spawn mechanic. That is definitely what we needed. Because we don't have enough losses yet. You know, that was good. Hundred percent kill here. Overwatch there. closer to the dasher unfortunately triggering a brute in the meantime a 
Luckily for us, the brute isn't particularly fast. Dasher gets down, but other Dasher hopefully will follow soon. Okay, and we're trying to front line with Lyrico. Just to find some more loss. I'm trying my best here, guys. This feels like a very much uphill battle if we can't headshot them. More loss. Okay, we need to kill the brute. Fortunately, he has a lot of hit points. I could do something along the lines of this, but I know I'm going to regret it because it will cost us more spawns. On the other hand, what exactly am I supposed to do if they are overrunning us? Blocking that entrance and let's try to soften up the route. Now the explosion should kill both of them. <sighs> and of course some more spectral zombies. Extra props for the warlock for hiding very much at the other end of the map. Somehow the brute managed to completely ignore uh, that explosion. Okay, well, this is going to be a problem. We're being completely and utterly overrun. Can't use more grenades or explosives that would just trigger more of them. Namri needs to take some safe uh, distance. Hits, but unfortunately doesn't deal enough damage. Sabotaging weapons and we're standing in the middle of a massive loss swarm, one and a half to be precise. The zombies can do whatever they want.
can't really deal with them at the moment. the overwatch is you never know you never know who's going to trigger it right two lost stashers have now caught up luckily lyrical is defending very well unfortunately for us she can't fend off all of them Need to help on the rooftop. There we go, good hit, wrong planet, fantastic. So Cougar is not moving at all. Unfortunately, if Namri isn't moving, we're going to get hit. So we're doing the coward, coward move. Uh, this is going to suck. I hope the fire will not burn through the roof. Not this turn. Moving over here. Way too much fire everywhere. Not even sure how that fire has started. We're utilizing the spectral zombies to our advantage. Effort. They fight the zombies, uh, or the lost in this case. The lost fight them. Just too many enemies. Can't get them all off uh, the battlefield. Good, that's a three for one. Mm, chef kiss moves over hits that guy and hits him very well Zukuger is on fire love it Namri really tries to clear the flank as much as possible. Okay, I'll go. At the same time, I want to try to kill one of them every single round with every single of our operatives just to go through the swarm a bit quicker. That stupid warlock. But mind you, we're almost done. We're almost done. This is bad. Your soldiers cannot last forever, Commander. No, they indeed cannot last forever, which is why I would want that to end rather soon. Good, Dasher almost done. I, I guess that'll be okay. Tauros moves up. Alright, 
Nemory. Finishes the second last guy. Yeah, we're just overwatching. No, no more spectral zombies, please. The combination of spectral zombies and just lost, no headshots and so on is massive. Of course, another swarm. <sighs> oh, behave. Whenever I'm done with the swarm, someone else is kicking in. I need a short break. Be right back. All right, back. I spare you the grinding details of 35 minutes fighting for every single meter to get to the Warlock. He finally is cornered, uh, took an overwatch shot from Zoo Cougar. We got ourselves in that position. And it has been a while since I needed to go through so many enemies just to reach someone. Holy moly, that was difficult. Well, we don't have... Uh, lost yet so let's keep it that way and I have to wonder can we hit him yeah I think we can losts are close so I don't want to do the mistake of pulling them instead what we're going to do is we need to shred him uh, full cover isn't a bad option here There we go, he's fully shredded. Unfortunately, minimum damage. He now maintains his low profile, which means we have a harder time hitting him and he's in full cover. I'll keep the run and gun as long as possible. That's a 57%, not really good. I want to hit him, so... The recoil... Uses weapon proximity. Nice, good crit. Lovely. Breaching maneuver, just get a bit further out. Uh, Taurus, eight hit points, should be good enough to take one hit if needed. Reloading, okay, cool. 28%, well, that's the problem, right? All right, we're bracing. 60% shot. Let's try. Let's try to hit him. Nice, okay, good job. Wrong planet. Well done. And Emery. Overwatches for now. Yeah, I can't get him down in one go. We're not strong enough yet. Advanced Gatling Sergeant. Oh, what? Advanced Gatling Sergeant in teleportation into Spectral Army? Are you kidding me? That's a lot of summoning. And of course our overwatches aren't really helping the case either. Huh, that creates even more pain and now we're pincered. Mm. Okay, we got a deal with that sergeant and with the lancers we 
can't immediately spawn another pack. Could get rid of uh, this guy's cover, which I think is the right way to do. The dashers are a problem as well. We're going to take damage one way or the other. The reality sometimes is that there is no really good play that will solve all issues. <clears throat> Get the Lancer down with a point blank shot, but that's only 628, so we would need maximum damage. There's a good chance of critting though. Running low on ammunition. And this here doesn't look great at all. I mean, look, we could potentially kill most of them in one go. And then focus on the dashers. But what do we do with the advanced sergeant? He has five to seven points of damage. These guys have five to six, so that they are hurting. Like, really good. In a perfect world, we would leave one of the Lancers alive and then Overwatch. That way, he will not get his turn. High ground up here would be good to hit that Spectral Lancer, wouldn't it? Hmm, D really difficult spot to be in. We can reload for free, right? Covering fire, taking a shot will not end the turn. I thought we could reload for free. Hmm, might be wrong. Um, yeah. Moving a bit further away here. 40% crit chance. Uh, I think we're just taking the point blank, to be honest. Yeah, not quite maximum damage, not a crit. We could explode that whole thing. Kill one, injure the other, and go for the dashers. That Gatling Gunner Sergeant is a problem. We have no real good way of getting rid of him. And we still have these fools here. Okay, I'll go. Okay. That could be a decent hit. Actually, really decent hit to set the Lancer up <clears throat> for a trick. That would also be a decent hit. And we could get the Sergeant. Let's try to do that. Good hit. Well done. Moving to here, we're working with Breaching Shot. This is hopefully killing him. Okay. Good, 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 good. Moving over to here in the hopes of the Spectral Lancer going to go for us and killing, uh, trying to, to hit Lyrical. That would trigger a parry 
and the parry would be great. That would be fabulous. Um, Sixty percent not good enough for the lancer. Could take one hit from the um, from the dasher. Trying to clear one side is to the best of my abilities. Ah, that was not good. The crit was cool, but not good. I wanted to just injure him and then make sure that the warlock. Uh, that was, yeah, that just wasn't it. Well, two of the dashers are going for the warlock. <laughs> okay, cool. Taking some damage up here, which is not so cool. And this is where the pain starts. Another loss down there. Can't afford him to get up here. Not a great uh, chance, but at least I could one try to one shot. The other option is just getting the warlock, accepting that we're taking three more damage, four. At worst, I mean, look, I we need to focus on the warlock. The rest is going to be okay. Taking away his cover. Huge benefit. He's also shell-shocked. Don't want uh, the loss to come any closer. Efficient utilization of mad kits. Hmm, very nice. Good hit. Breaching maneuver gets us at least into cover. Yeah, we want the chosen dead. Let's focus on that. Another fantastic critical hit. Good job. And I'm pretty sure that this would be working. We just need to play the odds here. Adrenaline rush into... Healing Lyrical. We're in the open, which sucks, but we are having a 90% chance of getting rid of him. Very good. Step, please, ending this dreadful mission. Or do we need to go through the loss? Okay, sucks, but we need to take that shot. Mm. Mm. Good job, wrong planet.
Good. Trying to hit these guys and getting them out. Reloading, okay. Good, we're actually going in to f uh, tank all of them. Hmm. Not a kill. And we. Oh no, oh no. It's just continuing. Why can't we take a break? The losses are a complete menace to society. Unfortunately, that extra loot is gone. Bracing. Let's try to get the dashers down. Because they can be dangerous, even if we're blocking the ladder. You can't handle me. Overwatching, okay. Let's do this. Reload into kill. By the numbers. I'm trusting you here. Movement into kill. Movement. And to kill. Okay, Lyrical is going to frontline that for us. Lots of high hit point dashers, which is bad news for us. Why? Why so many of them? So Cougar continues. Memory kills them. They keep on coming. Okay, Lyrical is still tanking. She's taking the heat. This guy here will die. That's the absolute maximum that I could do. Six kills in, uh, seven kills in one round. Five normal kills uh, plus an Overwatch plus a parry kill. Oh boy. See, and that's what I had to deal with throughout the majority of uh, the last hour and a half. Namre begins to move up. Unfortunately, minimum damage. Taurus supports. Let's just take the loss off of the battlefield. And Lyrical is frontlining. Thank God for that parry ability. That's going to be a lifesaver.
makes our life here so much easier. I can see an end, a light at the end of the tunnel. It's dim, it might not even be there, but I have hope that we're finally through. That al-magination al of uh, loss, that blob of uh, former human flesh, that horde of zombies. Carefully moving. Please, not another swarm. It says very close. That's bad. We, we don't want another swarm. No matter what. Is there any loss in here? Are you kidding me? What that tells me is... There is a lost pack, maybe over here, somewhere, and we have not yet gotten to them. Ah, oh, that is so disheartening. Yet another lost swarm. I promise you, there is one pack somewhere out there. And it's messing with our heads. Getting the dashers down. Always keep that ammunition count high. I don't want to be caught out. Lost, 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 lost. All right. Oh boy, isn't that stopping the... The bodies are littering the floor. I think this is one of the missions with the most kills. I think my record is 196. This here can't be that far off. You can't me. I, it's at least 100. At least it feels like that. I don't know if uh, the zombies, uh, the spectral zombies would be counted as kills. Maybe they are not. In that case, it would not be 100. Maybe. Maybe it's even more. Hard to say at that point. Ready to engage. I mean, we're going through them, relatively speaking, quickly. But I know farewell that there is definitely going to be one pack somewhere out there. It must be because elsewise I think we've killed all of uh, these buggers in the first place. The music, the comet music doesn't even stop, which is a sure uh, tell, uh, tell sign that you are dealing with more losts, which are very likely going to be back here. Nice little advent bunker there, by the way. Back 
I hate hide and seek maps. Absolutely. That was one of the least attractive features of the old XCOM games. If I can tell you a couple of uh, those stories whilst we're jointly suffering through this. Um, specifically Terror from the Deep was well known to be the game that had by far the worst hide and seek mechanic of any XCOM games ever. Imagine 3D underwater maps, ginormous underwater maps, mind you, larger than that map by a substantial margin. And uh, not only were there a lot of like melee-ish, mind-controlling, uh, zombie-creating enemies, no, 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 no. There were also very small, super fast enemies that could um, traverse the majority of uh, that map in mere seconds. And unfortunately, you had underwater structures that were also, again, 3D comp uh, complex. You could uh, enter them and move up and down. Very, very convoluted uh, side uh, corridors from time to time. And you ended up in this weird structure uh, where you were trying to scout out the map. The most efficient way of doing that, of course, was to split up. Uh, but as you should have known in any RPG that you have hopefully played within your uh, gamer career, you should never split the party. It's a bad idea. And it was a bad idea. Uh, you were at times looking for these enemies for ages and really uh, at the end of the day they were kind of hiding in, at the last corner of the entire uh, of the entire map anyways i tell you what i'll just suffer through that by myself and we'll let you know where the last one was let's not talk about it he was at the very beginning oh my lord 190 Two and a half hours of my time on a supply raid. Ooh. That was something else. Yeah. The loss. They, they should take them out of uh, the win condition. Or let me put it that way. They should put in a variable like if it's over turn 20 and only losses are alive, just count the mission as a win. I mean, what are we even talking about? This just goes to show that the chosen On the flip side, we can take before we went into the mission, I was like, yeah, one lieutenant really needs to get that camp captain rank, right? Um, well, we got a lot of captains now, guys. So that's the advantage. So... <laughs> Lyrica gets that captain rank, and with captain rank, I think uh, we are not let yet at level 3. Sergeant Major would be um, would be the next one. Okay, cool. So sweep and clean once per turn. Get a non-movement action point refund after killing a stunned or disoriented uh, enemy with a turn-ending attack. That's a lot to take in, so it needs to be stunned and or disoriented, which Blinding Protocol, for instance, could do. I see combinations there. Blinding Protocol into kill, into reset, which is quite cool. Combine that with uh, Breaching Maneuver and you get uh, quite an option there. Could also be uh, Flashbang Grenade uh, into... Uh, into that killing a stunt or disoriented target okay standard shots no longer end your turn when a run and gun is activated wait 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 does that mean i can run and gun shoot and shoot again no it's potentially meant as run and gun activated shoot and then move let's see what the description says The action modifying effect from run and gun will last until the beginning of your next turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and that third one does not have a description. <laughs> I 
Okay, I can't. I I just can't take the third one. Can't use shotguns or barbups and swords and combat knives. Uh, a dominating force in close quarters. The resilient and aggressive assault infantry specializes in taking and holding ground. Well, that's the general description, but apparently you can't take that skill. That's a bit of a bummer. First problem that we encountered. I think we're going with sweep and clean. I so far liked what I've seen uh, with that stormtrooper approach. Wrong planet. Uh, Captain rank. Deal one damage with your primary weapon and pistols. That's a very strong option, specifically in a run like the one that we're having. By the point targeting, enemies that you ha that have been hollow target will take additional damage and are more likely to be critically hit. Bonuses increased with a much more advanced holo target does. Deal plus two damage against flanked targets. Hmm, that's not bad either, but this here is a very solid uh, plus one damage. And I think we're just going to go with that. Plus, specifically, the pistol plus one isn't bad either. Of course, that's, uh, that's good. Uh, and we can certainly take that uh, for even more damage, but yeah for now let's go with that okay cool so so far we have the corpse man anti-venom stims a supply of tossable quick to administer anti-venom injection pins provide passive poison immunity and removes any poison effects from allies within wow Ooh, that is good may also periodically target an ally in range with a special adrenaline injection that will remove disoriented dazed panicked and stunned effect holy shit that is good Low profile, good, but wow, the anti-venom stem, uh, stems. What I like with uh, with how they worked around kind of the medic is he's really a frontline medic. You can't just stand back and then your gremlin will do all of the work. Like you are in the thick. Uh, Guns one smoke grenade and one additional uh, charge for equipped smokes. That's not bad either. I feel that this here is kind of more a quick response character. And we're going with um, anti-venom stims. That is holy. Five turns cooldown on the ad adrenaline ejection, but um... okay, you will know whether it's up, or up or not. And removing dazed, panic, or stunned as a free action, even if it's just two and a half tiles, is great. I start falling in love with the field medic, really good character class. The other one here is the marine. I like them a lot as well. So we got splinter armor. We got that um, placed, which works well in covering fire. Uh, when in Overwatch, you may take a reaction shots. Um, you may take reaction shots up to two targets. Okay, so how does that work? Uh, it's just two reaction shots are limited to one per target. One shot per target. Oh, okay, cool. So. That'll be just um, two reaction shots. I see, light them up, allows the Marine to take multiple direct shots in a turn, replacing sustained fire with traverse fire when equipped with a mach cannon machine gun. Oh, that's not bad either. Direct follow-up attacks in addition uh, to the suppression and overwatch and reloading. Okay. Marauder allows the Marine to fire, then take another unrestricted uh, action, including movement. I think that's the winner here. Okay, No Man's Land. Take reaction shots at unsuppressed targets moving through your zone suppression. If we had a greater expanded, superior expanded magazine, I think this would be even better. But I think we're, for now, going with Light Em Up. Sounds like a really good option. And finally, we're with a zapper, a nice little salvo, a bit of fire support, and uh, and trance is also good. Charges up to an enemy in movement range, attacking them with your primary weapon from point blank. Uh, once per turn, after landing a standard shot on a flank target, uh, gain a movement only action. Okay, that's not bad either. Rep deployment acti after activating this ability. The next support grenade thrown or launched will not cost an action. Hmm. 
Uh, what co is considered a support grenade? Smoke grenades, flashbangs, ooh, mimic beacons, ooh, ultrasound, ooh, frost grenades. Well, that's a really strong one. I like frost grenades and I want uh, to use them in this run because they will be crowd control. Uh, flashbangs are good. Lures are good. So that will allow her to have a very aggressive um, deployment mechanic. You could, in one turn, rapid deploy frost grenade into a normal grenade into shot. And that would be just her. Okay, that's, well, that's pretty strong. But we need the right grenades for it. But I think I'm going to take that. I mean, the charge... Eh, allows the Zebra to still dash and still attack in a single turn. What does that mean? Guaranteed hit and has a four round cooldown. Yeah, it's similar to a melee dashing attack. Okay, yeah, got you. But that doesn't mean you get to shoot afterwards. Now we're going with rapid deployment. I think her role is going to be placing down grenades onto the battlefield. Now we got uh, the Lost Autopsy finally. And we got a couple of upgrades here. So new combat tactics, squad size 2. Mwah, that's... Chef kiss long awaited. Hashtag finally. I like that one. And training center is certainly the next uh, big upgrade. Blue screen rounds will be helpful. And so far we're doing well. I need Avenger power. We wanted to do that. And wait, we got ourselves. It was a supply, right? Oh, oh no! What? We lost the supply. No! Oh no! You're telling me that the entire time that I fought them, we we lost the mission? How? Are you telling me that the crates were already extracted before I arrived there and therefore we... Wow, I feel betrayed now. Oh boy, this game is doing me dirty. Guys, we lost that mission. Okay, if anyone can figure out why we actually lost that last mission, other than it being a bug, please write it down in the comment uh, section below. Now I do understand why that was a depressed music at, uh, at the end and I was just like, yeah, okay, well, it is what it is. No way, we lost that mission. I think you will find our results have exceeded oh, expectations. Okay, well, at least we got Hellweave vests now. And we got the Autopsy of the Lost, which is Ultrasonic Lure. Fantastic item, we're getting that as well. Okay. And um, mine shields, cool. I like it. Turrets for defense matrix later, maybe. Spectre, not good. Shield bearer, um, shield bearer was, um, I think, the armor vest. So, yeah, we Physically. could take that one. Sure, why not? The chosen we have come to know as the hunter. Based on its history with the Frost Bomb is something that we want to get next. Uh, Hunter's Axe might be something that we want to get next. But yeah, we can figure that out. Uh, let's first of all build the normal items. So we want one uh, Ultrasonic Lure, for sure. And Hellweave, we're, uh, we're missing the Chrysalid Corpses. Eh. But well, that's a good one. Build one more nanoscale vest because we now have six. Can't upgrade the weapons because we didn't want to do that. Oh, I feel betrayed by the game. It did us dirty. I fought two and a half hours. I actually fought my off uh, for that mission. And then we lost it in the end. No way. All right, so promotion, that's good. 
Alien loot and dodge, man. Eh? So and so. Aim isn't bad. Live fire training, that is fantastic. Ooh, fabulous. That will help us a lot. And a promotion on top. Okay, we got our winner here. Facility lead, even that is good. But guys, live, live fire training. <laughs> it's a good. It's a very good. Hogbite and Dilly G will have a lot of fun there. Uh, wounded soldier, maybe. Nah, let's just spend the intel. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Good blue screen protocol. That's an important one. We could build sparks. Nah, not happening this run. Uh, plasma grenade would be a fantastic upgrade. I think one of the biggest ones for us. Could remove trees finally. Bigger structure, more damage. Frost bomb would be huge. Shadow keeper would be huge. Hunter's axe would be huge. And all, all of them just four days. Frost bomb into shadow keeper into hunter's axe because they are just so good. Bolt caster, not sure if I like it. It is strong because we uh, we have starter weapons and it can be okay. I'll I'll think about it once we're done. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Okay, wait a second. Well, that's a change of plans here. Change research. Facility lead needs 50 intel. Mm, mm, not good. We need to get intel and a facility lead. I mean, we do have a facility lead, but we need to get access. Because I can already see how this one is going. Good, I think we're holding off on... Uh, cr uh, training new soldiers for now because we're going to get fire discipline and having squaddies as much as I like uh, them are going to be mere cannon fodder in the later parts of the game but starting at sergeant rank on the other hand would bypass a lot of squaddies and we do have still enough rookies to pull that one off don't worry about the corporals and squaddies we'll still get them to work as and when time permits and now it realizes what I what I thought would realize yeah I know we need more intel. Alright, frost bomb. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Experimental armor. That will help us. Um I know what we can do. Uh, we need intel here six days and research it. And then we're researching the facility lead. And now we're on the timer. Continue to make progress on the Avatar project. The chosen warlock is hard at work for his masters in this area. Good, we have a problem. We need intel. And we need a facility. Uh, we need to research the facility lead. We have enough contacts to go with it. Avenger plotting new course. Our way out of this. Our way out of this will be to research. Um, yeah, I want the suit up. Commander, as of right now, we don't yeah, but we don't have. Yeah, never mind. Stupid idea. We're searching for more intel, and the Avatar project starts to push forward.
This will hurt our doom clock. Scientist, or supplies, or intel. And I think we need to go for the intel. That'll save us three more days. Um, with the intel, we can then start the research of the facility lead, which will be fast. With a facility lead, we can uh, then start uh, deploying on our first facility, and we're still over 20 days. So that's going to be the plan. Doesn't look pretty at the moment, um, as we're getting as we're getting shuck around quite a bit. Potentially need to get that additional facility lead afterwards as well, and just play for facility leads for now. That will cost us a lot of uh, intel and will hamper our economy, but uh, the the general problem that we're finding ourselves in, we've lost too many missions and we're now kind of on the recovering uh, side. The facilities will slow that down a bit, but the game is now pushing forward and really wants us uh, to, to deal with the alien facilities. Um, so that's not going to be easy. And next mission without uh, Lyrical will also not be easy. Uh, she's still wounded. May we're actually taking quote unquote the B team into the next mission, getting a couple more um, um, upgrades for our soldiers. Can't rely only on the captains, and I would want to keep them uh, together, those five, and maybe Hawkbite is a primary team. Uh, which brings us to that secondary team, which will need to manage the next mission. All right. If you enjoyed uh, that slog of a uh, episode, leave a comment down below and with hashtag slog and uh, try to uh, find that like button. It is as hidden as the last lost was in our mission. And let me know if you have clicked it. Thanks and have a good one.